Earth is all but a tiny figment, microscopic dust compared to the vast universe that is around us. When you look at the sky in the night, I'm pretty sure that the first thing that comes to your mind is infinity. So it is highly unlikely that we are the only life form within this infinity, and the ones that are out there might be trying to reach us without even realizing yet. Astronomers have received tons of signals from outer space throughout the years, with the most recent one being the bizarre FRBs detected by CHIME on the 28th of April 2020, which we will get to shortly. But what made these specific signals such a big deal? And at the end of the video, we are going to talk about why scientists were so concerned about what these signals were and where did they come from. Welcome to Insight. And today we have gathered back to discuss some of the most bizarre signals that have been picked up from the vast vacuum of space. If you haven't already, then make sure you have subscribed to the channel and have that notification bell ringing to miss out on any of our updates in the future. On the 15th of August 1977, Ohio State University's Big Ear Telescope was wowed for the first time as it picked up a series of what seemed to be signals from the unknown. After tracing it back and doing deep research, it was concluded that the signals were being received from the direction of the Sagittarius constellation, which is one of the most well-known constellations out there and is a huge pop culture influence as well. This led the facility to believe that these signals might just carry signs of extraterrestrial intelligence. As reported by the Ohio State University, the entire signal lasted for over three minutes, but it wasn't quite enough for Big Ear to make the most out of it, and ever since then, the signals have never been received again despite the efforts made. Since the signal only appeared once and was not strong enough to make any major conclusions regarding its nature and origins, astronomers have no idea whether it was just a random signal coming from the perplexing void of space, or maybe it was a call or a warning from a species way more advanced than human beings. FRBs on April 28 the WOW signal was way back in the 70s, and considering how long it has been since we last received any signal, it is safe to assume that we might never conclude what its origins and intentions were. So let's talk about something more recent, something that might unveil some mind-blowing truth shortly. And buckle up, because we have a lot to say about such recent hearings and theories on what they message they could carry and when we will decipher it. April 28, 2020 was one of those fortunate dates where two ground-based radios called the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, aka CHIME, and Survey for Transient Astrological Radio Emission 2, aka STARE 2, picked up an intense pulse of radio waves. The fact that they were able to say that these pulses were intense may point out that these signals could be intentional, but that is just a hypothesis. What's strange about these particular signals is that they came from within the Milky Way galaxy, and no such signals like those have been received from our home galaxy up until now. Scientists said that there is much more to these quick radio bursts than they realized at first as it was the first time they experienced such intensity. 1.5 billion light years back. So does picking up a signal tell you how old this mysterious signal is? Well, in most cases that have occurred throughout history, scientists have been able to tell the estimated age of the signal, meaning when exactly it leaves the source. What's fascinating is these signals can end up being very old, and one particular one stands out as scientists have estimated it to be 1.5 billion light-years far, that is, 
before humanity, civilization, and anything came into existence. So does this mean that aliens, if they are real, are way older than us and might have gone extinct at this point? Who knows, but if they are real and if these signals are coming from them, then it can be said that aliens were born in this universe a lot earlier than humans were. This billion-year-old signal was picked up by Chime, yes, the same Chime that we recently talked about. Chime scans about the entire northern sky each day, which is why it is prone to pick up such strange signals now and then. A total of 13 FRBs, fast radio bursts, were detected by Chime that day, and among these 13, one of these signals was quite amusing, as its source was traced to be 1.5 billion light years away from Earth. 1.5 billion light years is a huge astronomical number, and for a signal to travel such a long distance, only to be picked up by Chime, doesn't seem like much of an accident. The FRB 121102 The reason why FEB is such a major topic in the world of astronomy and under the subject of strange signals is because they are more than just radio signals or some sort of communication medium that we think they are. Take some time to imagine just how powerful the Sun is, despite being millions of light years away from the Earth the Sun's energy is the primary source of life, energy, and heat that sustains the Earth. Think of FRBs as a compressed burst of energy, coming in the form of waves with similar energy to the Sun's, but it only lasts about a millisecond or so, which is why drawing a proper conclusion or investigation from them has been a real challenge to scientists. The FRB 121102 stands out quite a lot among the hundreds of different FRB signals that have been received over the past century. And the reason for this is that the 121102 is said to be a repetitive signal, unlike other FRBs that occur once and then disappear, never to be seen again. FRB 121102 was first detected way back in 2014 and ever since that time, scientists have reported that it has been repeated a few hundred times since it first arrived. The source of this FRB is said to be a dwarf galaxy that is about 3 billion light years away from us. So what is this FRB and why does it repeat? If this is indeed signals from an extraterrestrial life form, then why are they so relentless? And is it true that this alien civilization can live for such a long period, long enough to keep sending FRBs like this. But we aren't all out of answers, since there is no real proof that indicates the existence of extraterrestrial life forms. Scientists have been able to state that most FRBs come from the collision of stars or the formulation of supermassive black holes. But for these things to happen, the gravitational force between the stars, or inside the star, should be massive, which means that these universal events mostly take place at the heart of a galaxy, where the gravitational force is extremely high. But such is not the case with FRB 121102, Dr. Shivani Bhandari, a CSIRO astronomer, has said that the source of this particular FRB should be coming from the heart of the galaxy, but strangely, it is not from there, but the edge of the galaxy itself. This indicates that there are other forms of events that can cause FRBs to travel so far in space. A Close Call So how far can these sources of signals be? The ones that we have talked about till now have mostly been about a billion light years away, and it seems like most of them are so far from our reach that issuing a proper investigation on them seems quite impossible. But this landscape changed in 2020. National Geographic issued an article on May 21, 2021, regarding the occurrence of FRBs that were originally detected in 2007. 
much like 121102. These FRBs were also repetitive, but unlike 121102, this FRB was so close that scientists never expected it to be there and thought it was unusual for the source to be this close. According to close research, the source of this FRB is said to be a neighboring spiral galaxy known as M8, and it is known as FRB 20200120E. The more precise location is said to be a cluster of stars that are way past their age to be behaving in such unusual ways. Scientists have quoted that finding this burst in such a place is like finding a smartphone embedded in Stone Age. In short, the discovery of this FRB has thrown everyone off guard, as it makes no sense for the source of this FRB to be there. This debunks all sorts of speculations and hypotheses that have been crafted around the presence of FRB and how they are produced or how they travel so far. Up until now, we were leaning on the argument that FRBs are most likely to be found on places surging with energy or places expected to have extraterrestrial life forms, but the presence of this FRB among heaps of dust and cluster makes no sense as our standards of life are not favorable there. What's remarkable about this FRB is that it is the closest FRB that has ever been recorded. On an average scale, it is said to be 40 times closer than any other FRBs that have been recorded to date. The best estimated distance is said to be about 11.7 million light years away from us. If there is any chance of finding alien life or having any sort of extraterrestrial contact, then FRB 20200120E is our best chance, since it is the closest call that we have received to date. Even to this day, and maybe in the future, we have been constantly receiving signals from outer space, and most of the time we do not have any knowledge of what caused these signals to be. The universe is as mysterious and as large as it gets, so finding a proper signal with an understandable message may seem a little out of hand, but every once in a while, signals like FRB 20200120E give us hope that there might just be something out there that wants to be heard, but maybe we are not advanced enough to realize it yet. What are your thoughts on these strange happenings, and do you believe that these signals are indeed the result of an extraterrestrial life form? Do let us know down in the comments. Lastly, if you liked today's video, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up to put up your theories as we like to read them as much as you like to listen to ours.